In the Netherlands, the debate's no longer about if assisted dying should be allowed. It's about whether more people should be able to end their lives this way. Euthanasia has been legal in the Netherlands since 2002. It accounts for roughly one in every 25 deaths, and the numbers are growing. Dr. Bert Kaiser's helped dozens of people end their lives. Euthanasia can be requested on the Dutch National Health Service, yet for many doctors, it's a daunting task. What do you say to them? Well, usually I say, and I mean this, it's, for me it's been a, a privilege to know you. You know, you are, I find you a very courageous man or woman. And um, I'm glad that I can do this for you. Euthanasia is only allowed under certain conditions. That a person is suffering unbearable pain, that their illness is incurable, and that they make the decision to die in full consciousness. Every year here in the Netherlands, the boundaries surrounding euthanasia widen even further. What began as a means of helping those people who were terminally ill now extends to other people also suffering from unbearable pain, people suffering from mental illnesses like depression and dementia, opening up a completely new debate. Since it was legalized, 40,000 Dutch people have been granted euthanasia. Holland's Catholic and Calvinist churches have long been opposed to it. They believe it exposes vulnerable people to abuse. Objections are now also being voiced by those who helped shape the law, such as the Dutch ethicist Theo Boer. The law was, uh, was designed to be an, 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 uh, for, for extreme emergencies. What we see now after 10 or 15 years experience in the Netherlands is that uh, euthanasia is now becoming a, de a default option for dying. Most Dutch people see euthanasia as a fundamental right, a means of giving dignity to the dying. But after opening the doors to euthanasia, the country is now testing the boundaries and definition of unbearable suffering and when it's right to end it. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam.